Hi, this is Bradley Bush. Today we're going to be finding tangent lines to curves at specific x values. This is a pretty classic problem in first year calculus. So if this is our problem, we want to find the equation of a line tangent to a function 3 minus 8x squared at a specific point. And the point is negative 2, negative 29. So I have a picture here. We have our curve, which is the parabola that's opening down. We have our point, which is negative 2, negative 29. And we want to find the orange line, the equation of the orange line. That is what we don't know. So what do we need when we're looking for the equation of a line? If we think back to algebra, we know that we need two things. We need a slope, which we don't have, and we need a point, which we do have. Our point is negative 2, negative 29. So we have that already. We just need the slope at x equals negative 2. So lucky for us, all we have to do is find the derivative of our function f, then plug in x equals negative 2. So if we can find the derivative, that'll give us the slope of the parabola anywhere, and then all we have to do is plug in x equals 2 into f prime, which is the slope function or the derivative. So if we're going to find the derivative, we're going to be doing it using the limit definition of the derivative, which is right here, which is the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. So if we start out with our function 3 minus 8x squared, then we plug in all the information that we have this right here is f of x plus h. This quantity here is f of x and we have our minus sign in between. And then in our denominator we have the h. This quantity here is what we get when we take x plus h and square it. It's a foiling problem and we have x plus h times x plus h. That gives us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And the rest of it just comes down from above. If we distribute this negative 8 into this quantity in parentheses, then we get negative 8x squared minus 16xh minus h squared. If we do a similar thing to this negative here, then we get negative 3 and positive 8x squared. Now we can start canceling things. Uh, we have a negative 3 there, a positive 3 there, we have an 8x squared there, a negative 8x squared there, and everything else that's left is carried down. So we notice at this point that each of the terms has an h in the top and the bottom. So we can factor that h out and we get h multiplied by the quantity negative 16x minus h. Now we can cancel the h's and we can take the limit. So we should probably ask ourselves why didn't we just take the limit to begin with? Well if we look up here and we look at the note 
here, if we had just taken the limit to begin with, then the negative, or the zero, excuse me, would have been put in for h there and there. And the numerator would have gone to zero, and the denominator would have gone to zero. And we would have had an indeterminate form. So we go through all of this algebra to get rid of that h in the denominator. The h is gone in the denominator. We no longer have a denominator. So now we can take the limit. This h goes to zero, and we're left with negative 16x. So this negative 16x, this is the derivative function. This is f prime. This is the function that we can plug in an x value anywhere and get out the derivative, the slope, at that point, at that x value. That's exactly what we want because we want to find the slope at x equals negative 2. So if we take our negative 16x and we plug in negative 2, negative 16 times negative 2 gives us 32, and this is our slope. Not everywhere, this is the slope just at x equals negative 2 of the parabola that was opening down that we were looking at. Now finally, we can find the equation of the tangent line because now we have a point which we had from before and we have a slope. Our slope is 32, our point is negative 2, negative 9. So now this, this just reduces to an algebra problem. If we plug in the slope and the point into our slope, our point slope form, the y2 goes here, negative 29, the x2 goes here, negative 2, and the slope goes here. Then we can, this negative here is multiplied through and we get a positive. We have our negative, or 32, that gets distributed through, but we should probably first distribute this negative through, that becomes a positive there. And now when we multiply through the 32, we get 32x plus 64. Now we take the negative, or the 29 to the other side. Minus 29 on both sides. And this cancels. And 64 minus 29 is 35. And that leaves us with our answer. This is the equation of the line tangent to the curve y equals 3 minus 8x squared at the point negative 2, 29. So this is what we found. We found the equation of this orange line. Thanks for watching.